Holz auch noch so präsent ist. Ne? <lacht> Jetzt soll ich das? Es geht ja nicht nur um Italien, sondern die auch. Grillte Paprika. <lacht> As the appellation states, the reserve must be uh, aged at least three years into oak containers and at least one year into um, bottle aging. <laughs> and to that place into oak containers and at least one year into bottle aging. But then you have a big contribution given by the oak in terms of aromas, in terms of aging. This is an unusual white wine. It's the first one to be um, fermenting in oak barrels in terms of white in Tuscany. And uh, as a, a structure um, much different from the Pomino Bianco. Uh, being aged in oak barrels, uh, this is uh, uh, going uh, three, four years of bottle aging without any trouble. On the contrary, it's improving possibly after one or two years of bottle aging. So I leave it to you now the tasting. When you're ready, we move so to the first, first uh, into the small okay. barrels of a second or third usage, and this is uh, for some months, and then uh, it's aging about two years into the old barrels, so old oak. Following this, you have a Brunello with something like one year of bottle aging now, which means uh, too, too short a period to start to taste a kind of evolution. You will notice um, mainly fruity aromas, the, proper to the Sangiovese grapes, and uh, the tannins which are quite, uh, quite uh, uh, sharp uh, still. 2006 uh, is considered one of the best last vintages in Montalcino because the climatic conditions were very well balanced. So without uh, any up and down or any stress of any kind, the Sangiovese could get ripened slowly but in the perfect way. So to reach a perfect uh, healthy condition without suffering either for cool temperature or for lack of water. The second red here is the Castel Giocondo Riserva. See, si, if you want. Do you prefer I explain one by one? Yes. Yeah, okay, so you please, can you can taste them. The appellation states the reserve must be uh, aged at least three years into oak containers and at least one year into um, bottle aging. So that depends on the specific vintage characteristics to make three years of oak aging or longer. And also it depends on the kind of concentration and uh, maturation level we have for the grapes to uh, keep longer time into small or big barrels, so into new or old oak. This is winter 2005 because the reserva must be released six years after the harvest time, not before that. So 
sono giovani, they are very young, so... One question, when do you think um, you can start to drink the 2005 Reserva? The Reserva, it was released 2011, so uh, six years, six, seven years to start. It gets smoother and smoother as long as it's uh, not aged. It's produced in 30,000 bottles per year, so from a single vineyard here as well. Um, it's a wine uh, which uh, blends uh, the intensity of the, the, the Merlot uh, characteristics, aromas uh, and structure with the new oak barrels. So the aging time uh, lasts two years in two brand new barrels, the small one. gemacht haben, positiv natürlich nur und äh, denke auch, dass man jetzt gesehen hat, dass Größe nicht unbedingt ein äh, Nachteil sein muss, sondern dass man halt auch Gastfreundschaft und äh, Organisation in äh, sehr, sehr guten Einklang bringen kann. Äh, ich, das, was ich bisher gehört habe, äh, denke ich, stimmt mir zu, was, was von euch in Kommentaren kam.